Hey, Wood Butchers. Uh, bet you're wondering why there's pegboard, uh, some nice cedar planking, and a pink pen. Well, I gotta come out and say, I'm not addicted to pink pens, but they're pretty cool. My daughter loves them. And this is a bit of a secret project for her. Uh, with the uh, whole pandemic and everything else like that, Rex and I have seen that uh, he loves to steal gloves. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'll get that in a minute. Uh, that uh, my daughter likes to draw and she's been using that as a stress relief. Uh, she was at a um, uh, Michael's. Uh, it's a craft place up in here in Canada. I think you guys might have it in the States. And she found uh, a special holder for these Tombow markers. She loves them. Uh, there's some water-based special marker. It's got a, I don't know, it's got a pen tip on the bottom and a brush tip on the bigger side. Anyways, so she couldn't afford it. I can't afford it. Um, it was 35 bucks, but it was just a plastic box. So I figure right now, we don't have a whole lot of extra stuff. So uh, when I get some time and I'm not working uh, my regular job, I'm going to make her something nice. So this is going to be the top and bottom. Obviously, these don't fit. Uh, I'm going to um, basically drill through them. i got to figure out how to uh, hold them together uh, to make sure that they are all drilled perfectly the same all the way right through. Um, yeah, I, I had an explosion here. Uh, helicopter died. Um, anyways, I got a drill bit somewhere. Can't find it right now. Uh, so we're going to drill through each of these holes, make them the right size for the marker to fit into. And uh, from there, we're going to use this on either side as a nice box end and a bottom. So the markers will sit on this. There'll be two layers of this to hold them you know, upright, and then she can carry this around wherever she's going to mark her things or draw things or color things and be able to have some fun, see all, her, all of her uh, uh, individual ones all in a row. She can group them by color. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's chase time with the glove. Okay, back to this. So I'm going to work on that. I'll come up with some thoughts, some designs, uh, I don't know. As usual, I just start cutting and going from there. Okay, we're back into the pen holder for the termite. I have all of the perforated uh, holes ready to go, but I need to make sure that these, the side pieces, are the same length as this. It's going to be a modified box where it's going to be supported on the two sides, maybe with a little bit of blocking. I don't know yet. I have to figure that out. So I need to get these exactly the same. So what I'm doing is I'm lining it up with this edge very carefully. Oh, there we go. Perfect, okay. And as I bring this down, hard to do this with two hands, or with one hand, I should say. I bring this down and I slide this stock this way until it just kisses the blade. Then I pull this piece out of here, cut these two together and they end up being within a fraction of a millimeter, the exact same length as this. I've always liked this for trying to do rapid, sort of repetitive cuts, but I don't want to set up a stop block on the end or, or anything like that. So this is kind of what I'm doing right now. One of the little tricks I use periodically in shop. I'm going to keep uh, cutting away here. All right, so that didn't work out quite the way I'd wanted it to. Uh, I was just trying to drill these out, you know, so that the pen would fit nicely through it. Uh, first one grabbed a little bit, second one, oh, it really grabbed. So trying to drill out this hard board, not so good. So what I think I'm going to do is I just milled up this piece of uh, uh, cedar here. I'm going to put this on top. Uh, I'm going to mill through this. Yeah, I'm going to mill through this. There's some gunk there. Uh, drill through it using these and this bit. Smaller hole, not grabbing as much, inch my way up, and then chamfer. This will be the middle one, so even if it's a bit rough, it will be fine. Now I'll chamfer the top one so it looks nice. I think that'll work. 
Dang it. Oh well. Live and learn. If we're really quiet, we're gonna see the natural status of the shop dog. It's only taken about a year of training to get him to chill in the shop. We knew that wouldn't last. Anyways, so I taped the other one of these onto this board. Uh, drilled these out at 3 eighths of an inch. That worked pretty good. Uh, then I came back with, uh, was it 7 sixteenths, which is just slightly bigger than the pens. Um, I got a little bit of raggedy around the edges there. Just uh, finishing it up with a chamfer bit in the drill press. I have the, you've always wondered what these are for? Hey, this is the stop. So you can adjust this to, as you pull down, it blocks onto here. Um, so gonna do all the holes and then start finishing things up. I got the crazy idea that I might, uh, I was gonna go with a really thin piece of uh, cedar. I might go with one of these. I don't know. Just put that on the bottom figure things out. I never know what I'm going to make in the shop as I go along. Anyways, keep plugging away. Okay, so on the bottom I decided to go with my drilled out, um, what do you call it, pegboard. Uh, this is just about the right size for the bottom of that pen, so it gives a little wiggle, wiggle room. So that's perfect. It's lined up uh, perfectly with some of the reclaimed cedar, so it's going to be Decent thickness, you know, it's going to be solid. I've just uh, glued it all together, just a quick bead in between each of the little uh, holes along the sides, just to hold it all together so that when I nail into it, it's going to hold maybe a little bit better. I had these clamps from when we had a trailer. I used these to hold some tarps onto the, um, it was a hybrid, yeah, hybrid trailer. Kind of half hard side, kind of half camper trailer. And man, that thing got hot inside. So I had some reflective tarps. They had some ability to, you know, kind of shine off that, some of that light. And uh, also helped to hold the heat in so you didn't get condensation in the night. So I had all these left over because, you know, you never give anything away. So thought, what the heck, we'll give them a try. So well, they're perfect for this. You can never have too many clamps. Well, Wood Butchers, project is finished. I think it turned out pretty darn good. We got the holes there that hold the bottom of the markers. We got the holes on the top, nicely chamfered. As usual, I'm not gonna finish it. I don't finish things. Uh, I would just like the natural wood feeling. Um, we got some pin nails along here, just to hold everything together. Yeah, I hope the uh, termite likes it. it turned out good. Have a wonderful weekend.